What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, Boogie to 988 coming at you live once again through the power of the internet. And a lot of people over the past three or four days have asked me to talk about the curious case of Justin Carter. Justin Carter being a 19-year-old male from uh, Texas who has been arrested for making a Facebook post that was certainly distasteful, certainly offensive, but also a sarcastic joke. We're going to talk about why he's facing those charges, what it means for him, what it means for the internet and you and I as a whole, and what you need to do about it. So let's get started. But before we do, I want to remind everyone, including the NSA agent who's assuredly watching this video, that I am a comedian. My job is to create offensive, silly, joking statements, okay? And sometimes they're distasteful, and sometimes they're wrong, and maybe even sometimes they're a little bit harmful, but please don't fucking arrest me. Thank you. So in February of last year, on Facebook, while discussing the video game League of Legends, Justin came out and was challenged by one of his friends who said, you're really messed up in the head, Justin. And Justin decided to respond sarcastically with a really messed up statement to prove his friend's point. And here's what he said, and I'm going to repeat it, but I want to say before I do, these are not my words. These are disgusting, awful, terrible things you should never say. It is a joke, but it is still a somewhat harmful joke. He said that, yes, you are right, I am very messed up. I'm going to go shoot up a school, a bunch of kindergartners, then eat their still beating hearts, followed it with laugh out loud, followed it with JK, and that was that. Those words are disgusting. They are awful. They are wildly inappropriate, considering what has happened all around the world over the past couple of years, and in my honest opinion, Justin is an asshole for saying those things publicly or perhaps even privately. But that said, you have to ask yourself the question, does he deserve to be arrested for it? The police showed up at Justin's workplace to discuss this with him and about his post soon after the post was made. They arrested him and they've taken him into custody. And one would presume, his family presumed, I would presume, that after a short investigation, they would determine that Justin was not a threat, that he was just making jokes, that he was not, he was a bad person and he did a bad thing, but he probably doesn't deserve to be in jail. But that's not the case. He's been held in jail now for five months, and it's been a miserable experience for him. Even right now today, as we're making this video, news reports are telling us that he's on suicide watch because he's realized he's ruined his fucking life. And for those of you who are thinking right now the state of Texas is being a little harsh, that's not entirely appropriate. In fact, they were willing to strike a deal with Justin. Instead of putting him in front of a federal judge who could send him to jail for up to 10 years, they were willing to plea bargain with him as long as he'd admit that he was guilty and sentence him to only 8 years in federal prison. Now, it's not all bad news for the guy. There is a group of people who stepped in to defend him, and I believe that after just a couple of more months, it'll eventually end up going to trial, and Justin will get away with just time served, as he probably should in a country with the First Amendment right that gives us the right to free speech. However, we should talk about something else. We should talk about how this impacts you or I. A lot of people in the United States believe that the right of free speech allows us to say or do anything that we want as long as it's for the purpose of freedom of expression. That's not always the case. For example, you cannot stand up and scream fire in a crowded restaurant or a crowded theater because you are endangering the people around you. And of course we have to consider the case of Paula Dean, who said some very unpopular, racist, awful things that she should not have said, and when the press made light of that, it cost her endorsements, it's practically cost her her career. There are consequences for your decision to evoke your right to free speech. That's the facts of it. So Justin chose to evoke his right to free speech. And he did so to make an offensive, disgusting Facebook joke that had the potential, in almost all likelihood, to offend the people that read it and offend someone so much that they reported it to authorities and the authorities were so offended they re arrested him because they felt that he might be a legitimate threat because he was threatening other people. 
That is the consequence of using your right to free speech. You have the right to protest, and I'm so grateful if you choose to do so. But you must know that you could be arrested, you could be harmed, you could be subjected to police brutality, you could be killed in the process. And while I feel that those things are wrong, that's the fact of the situation. It sucks, but that's how it is. And don't get me wrong, I would love to live in this utopia where anybody can protest anything they want without consequence. And they could say and do whatever they wanted without consequence. But that's not the country we live in anymore. It's not the country that you can live in anywhere in the world. And arguably, it's never actually been that way. Regardless of the morality of whether it's right, regardless of the details and the semantics, the truth of the matter is this. Free speech is not dead, but it is hindered with a consequence system that can often be all too harsh and all too terrifying. And if you choose to evoke your right to free speech, you have to know that there are now consequences. It sucks, and it's not right, but it's how it is. If you're willing to go to jail for your right to free speech, if you're willing to lose your career, if you're willing to lose your right to vote or your right to freedom like Justin has, you are a warrior and a soldier and I am proud of you and I applaud your decision and I applaud your effort. But realize you could now be destroying your life. For the rest of us who don't want to run that risk, we finally entered an age of Big Brother. We finally entered an age of a nanny state. We finally entered an age where we have to be very careful. Think the next time you make a Facebook post. Think the next time you post on YouTube. Think the next time you Skype a statement to one of your friends. Determine whether or not you're willing to risk the consequences for your right to say it. It's something I consider every day. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping it will change. I'm hoping one of the many potential warriors who see this video, hear this as a call, and decide that they are going to go into politics, they're going to go into lawmaking, they're going to become a lawyer and defend people's rights and fight back. I hope you're that guy. Because I'll tell you, I hate this. In the years that I've been alive, I've watched freedom take a dramatic hit. And I've seen the right to free speech be all but discarded and I hate it and I need you to join the fight and I need you to help me change it but if you're not going into politics and you're not going to be that lawyer and you're not going to be that warrior who is willing to get arrested to fight for our rights then you need to be very careful about what you say they are listening